It's the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, August 31st, the last day of meteorological summer. Where did the time go? Things look quiet this week. Got a tropical, actually got a hurricane out there in the far east Atlantic. So let's dive in and take a look at things. An upper ridge beginning to build across the deep south. That is replacing the upper low we dealt with over the weekend. And nothing on the radar. That was at 226, and there's still a window for a few isolated showers this evening. But obviously, most places will stay dry, and it looks pretty dry through midweek. Again today, temperatures well below average. Uh, this is day 16. 16 consecutive days with a high under 90 for Birmingham. And that's uh, pretty remarkable for August in Alabama. In fact, the high yesterday was only 74 for the coolest day of the month. Nobody griping about that, but we'll be closer to 90 tomorrow and through midweek. Around the nation, cooler values back in the Pacific Northwest. Elsewhere, pretty warm, fairly typical for late August. Got a flash flood watch for parts of central Florida, and that's about it around the nation, although out in Hawaii there are a few issues with rough surf. We'll take a look at that in just a second. That's the convective outlook for the rest of today and tonight, a marginal risk of severe weather over Arizona. It's the monsoon season out there. Around here, again, I, most places will stay dry this evening. And for the next five days, I don't think it rains a lot. This is valid through Saturday morning. This is suggesting rain amounts under one-half inch for the northern half of the state. Heavier totals way down south, and even there, not that much rain for the rest of the week. If you've got a beach trip coming up, not bad. For the uh, Labor Day weekend, we'll see about six to eight hours of sun each day from Panama City over to Gulf Shores with a typical chance of scattered storms. Let's look at the Atlantic Basin. The one system on the board is Fred. Got to love a hurricane named Fred. Top winds estimated now at 85 miles an hour, moving northwest at 12. Huge model spread. Uh, some want to move it west. Most of them take it northwest and start to recurve uh, up toward the Azores. Uh, it, at this high latitude, odds of this getting very far westward are pretty small. Uh, most of the models ramp this down. They bring the intensity down over the next five days. And here's the official forecast in the Hurricane Center. They dissipate this thing late this week uh, between 40 and 45 west, out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, there's the Hawaii issue. This is Hurricane Ignacio. Top winds 105 miles an hour. This thing is passing north of the islands. will gradually weaken with time, but creating some rough surf for our friends in Hawaii. Hey, model fans, here we go. The 12Z GFS valid tomorrow at 1 o'clock local time on the first day of meteorological fall, September 1st. Heights are coming up. Heat levels will be coming up accordingly. And the weather looking pretty dry there. I think we can just take out the chance of rain. Uh, the high tomorrow somewhere in the upper 80s to near 90. Really the same thing on Wednesday, the high around 90. Both the models are in the low 90s, but they've been a little uh, warm biased here lately. And again, the chance of rain, not exactly zero, but most everybody stays dry. And quite frankly, the same thing on Thursday, mostly sunny. The chance of a shower, relatively small. The high will be around 90. And Friday, again, no real change. The GFS keeps us relatively dry uh, with a high in the low 90s. So for the rest of the week, things are looking pretty quiet here. Hey, Labor Day fans, here we go. This is Saturday, September 5th. Most of the uh, wave action way up north, big trough in the Pacific Northwest, ridging over eastern Canada. For us, moisture begins to increase. We'll mention the chance of an afternoon shower or storm. The sky partly sunny, the high close to 90. Sunday, moisture will be a little deeper, so scattered showers and storms, a little more numerous Sunday. And again, I wouldn't call it a rainy day, but it should rain at times. Uh, the GFS is printing a high of 87. And a week from today, Labor Day, Monday, September 7th, the uh, really hot weather's up in the northeast United States. For us down here, a uh, chance of scattered showers and storms, mid-80s with sun at times. Here's the end of the forecast. This is Thursday of next week, September 10th, a little upper low in the Gulf. But again, for us, things look pretty quiet. Temperatures this week. We could get up there toward the low 90s, but next week, highs go back in the 80s. Lows mostly in the 60s. That is exactly where we should be for early to mid-September. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.